Hey guys, Ivan Squansky here back again with some more WWE 2K16 news. This time we got news on the official tag team roster as well as all the arenas because I was searching through some just WWE 2K16 news and I found, oh, they updated the Brazilian Wikipedia for 2K16 and I saw on the Brazilian Wikipedia they updated the tag teams, which shows off all the tag teams in the game as well as most of the arenas in the game. So please, before like I start this video, please just understand this is probably leaked. I'm not sure how real it is. But yeah, it's from the Brazilian Wikipedia. So it's up for you to decide how legit this is. But either way, there's only around a week till the game comes out. So we don't have to wait long to find out just how legit this is. So I'll start off straight off listing all the tag teams that will be in the game, all the default tag teams. And then I will list all the arenas in 2K16. So starting off with the tag teams, we have the Wyatt family, which consists of Bray Wyatt, Luke Harper, and Eric Rowan. Then we have the New Day, Big E, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. Then primetime players, Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. The Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso. The Ascension, Connor and Victor. The Brotherhood, Goldust and Stardust. Damien Mizdow and Curtis Axel. Now this was, you know, the tag team back when Damien Mizdow and Curtis Axel, you know, where the gimmick people like Curtis Axel was doing the Hulk Hogan, Damien Mizdow was doing the uh, Macho Man. Then uh, Evolution, Triple H, Ric Flair, Randy Orton, and Batista. Does this mean we will see a young Randy Orton and Batista? I hope so. Then DX, which consists of Shawn Michaels and Triple H, obviously, but as well as X-Park, Billy Gunn, and Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. Then the Nation of Domination, Farouk, D'Lo Brown, Kama Mustafa, The Rock, and Savio Vega. Um, interesting, it says The Rock, not Rocky Maivia, because a little down the line, it pretty much confirms Rocky Maivia in the game as well. Then the Bella Twins, uh, and then the Funkadactyls, Cameron and, and Naomi. I'm surprised they're a default tag team, considering they've been broken up for like two years. Then Cesaro and Tyson Kidd, as well as R-Truth and Xavier Woods. Now, I have no idea why R-Truth and Xavier Woods is a default tag team, but it is. And then over on the on the NXT side, we have the Lucha Dragons, we have the Vord Villains, and of course, we have Colin Cassidy and Enzo Amore. And also for DLC, we have Blake and Murphy, who are from NXT. Then the Harlem Heat, Booker T and Stevie Ray, I'm excited to play as them. Then the Natural Disasters, Typhoon and Earthquake. Then, this is my favorite, The Outsiders, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. I'm so excited that Scott Hall is in the game. Then the Bushwhackers, and finally, Los Matadores. So those are all the default tag teams in WWE 2K16. But, let's get into the big story, and this is all the shows and pay-per-views, all the arenas we know for 2K16. Now, I'm guessing that this is in all of the arenas, because it doesn't list a lot of them, but still lists quite a bit. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this is in every single arena, but it's going to be quite a few of them. First up, I'll list all of the like current arenas, you know, like 2015 arenas, and then I'll get into the uh, Austin Showcase arenas. So starting off with the current arenas, we have TLC from 2014, we have Su Survivor Series from 2014, Hell in the Cell from 2014, Night of Champions 2014, SummerSlam 2014, Battleground 2015, Money in the Bank 2014, and then finally the rest of 2015 arenas, Paybacks 2015, Extreme Rules 2015, WrestleMania 31, obviously 2015, Fastlane 2015, Royal Rumble 2015, uh, the Raw Smackdown arenas of 2015, the Main Event and Superstars arenas of 2015, and then there are two NXT arenas. First we have the just NXT, and then we have NXT TakeOver Rivals. So we now know there will be a TakeOver Rival arena. We've already seen that in Kevin Owens' entrance. We already know TakeOver Rival will be in the game. So those are all the default 2014 and 15 arenas. Next up, let's get straight into the Austin Showcase arenas. Now, I'm guessing these aren't all of them, I'm guessing there's going to still be a lot more, just because I know there's going to be heaps and heaps and heaps of Austin uh, Showcase matches, and this doesn't seem that much, but there still is quite a bit. 
So first off, we have the Roar's War Arena. Uh, this was from 1997 to 2001. We already know the Raw is War Arena is going to be in the game. We've already seen gameplay of it heaps of times, as well as just obviously the Raw is War Arena is going to be in the game. Then we have WCW Bash at the Beach 1994. We also know this arena is going to be in the game, and this uh, this is where St uh, Steve Austin retained his WCW United States Championship against Ricky Steamboat. So we already know this is going to be in the game. We know this is going to actually be a bonus match where uh, in between matches, if you unlock all the objectives, you sometimes will unlock bonus matches. And we know that the very single first bonus match is WCW Bash at the Beach in 1994. Then the very first match for the Austin Showcase is King of the Ring 1996, which is uh, Steve Austin defeating Jake the Snake Roberts. Now this is where J St Stone Cold won the actual King of the Ring tournament and cut the famous, you know, Austin 316 just whipped your ass promo. And we know after the King of the Ring uh, Austin Showcase match, if you unlock all, if you do all the objectives in this match, then you un unlock the WCW Bash the Beach Arena. Next up, we have uh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre in 1999. This is where Stone Cold was in a steel cage match with Vince McMahon. And this is a classic thing where uh, Big Show debuted. It was Paul White and he debuted. He comes out from under the ring. So yeah, this was uh, Stone Cold versus Vince McMahon in a steel cage match. And we also already know this match will be happening because in the gameplay trailer, we saw uh, little snippets of it. So yeah, Stone Cold versus Vince McMahon in the steel cage match at St. Valentine's Day Massacre. So St. Valentine's Day Massacre 1999 Arena. Then, uh, Backlash 1999 Arena as well. And at Backlash 1999, this was where Stone Cold defeated The Rock in a no holds barred match for the WWE Championship with Shane McMahon as a special guest referee. And we now, we also know this match will be in the game as we've also seen gameplay of this as in the same gameplay trailer. We actually saw a little clip of it where, uh, The Rock actually, you know, had the camera and Stone Cold stunned him through the announce table. Not really through the announce table because the announce table didn't break. But yeah, we also know that Backlash 1999 is going to be in the game. And then also we have Royal Rumble 1999. And in the Royal Rumble match, Stone Cold was part of the actual Royal Rumble match. Where he was eliminated last by Vince McMahon. So Vince McMahon won the Royal Rumble. And obviously Vince McMahon didn't go to headline WrestleMania. Stone Cold did. Uh, so anyway, next up we have No Way Out 2001. Now this was where Triple H defeated Stone Cold 2 to 1 in a 3 stages of hell match. Now it was a 3 stage of hell, of hell match. So the first four was a singles match. The second fall was a street fight, and the second, uh, sorry, the third fall was a steel cage match, and this was actually the very first three stages of hell match in history. So yeah, no way out. 2001 arena confirmed, and this is where Triple H defeated Stone Cold two to one in a three stages of hell match. Next up, one of my probably my most anticipated match to play as, and this is WrestleMania 14 where Stone Cold defeated Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship with Mike Tyson as a special guest referee. Now, my big thing is, is Mike Tyson going to be the special guest referee for this match? I don't actually know because we haven't heard anything about Mike Tyson. He's not confirmed for the game. He's not confirmed as a, as a manager yet. So I'm just wondering, is he actually going to be the special guest referee? I hope so. But yeah, WrestleMania 14 Arena confirmed. And this was where Stone Cold defeated Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship. And this is where most people say the Attitude Era kicked off. Speaking of WrestleMania, how about the very next WrestleMania? WrestleMania 15 where Stone Cold defeated The Rock and in a no holds barred match for the WWE Championship. Now this is the threes, uh, the three WrestleMania matches with The Rock is probably most people's most anticipated matches for Stone Cold. You know, when you think of Stone Cold, you're gonna think his three WrestleMania matches with Stone Cold. And the, you know, the uh, WrestleMania 15, Rock vs. Stone Cold, where Stone Cold actually retained his WWE Championship against The Rock in a no holds barred match. Speaking of WrestleMania, how about WrestleMania 17, where Stone Cold defeated The Rock in a no disqualifications match? 
for the WWE Championship. So yeah, this is WrestleMania 2001, and at WrestleMania 2000, The Rock, uh, not The Rock, sorry, Stone Cold wasn't part of the match, uh, part of the card at all, because he was injured, so WrestleMania 2000 won't be part of the game. But yeah, WrestleMania X7, where Stone Cold defeated The Rock for the WWE Championship in a no disqualification match, uh, is part of the game. Obviously it will be. Uh, I obviously, I don't agree with the ending. I still think The Rock should have won this match, but he didn't. Stone Cold did. Speaking of The Rock winning against Stone Cold, how about WrestleMania XIX? And this is where finally The Rock defeated Stone Cold. Also, this was Stone Cold's very last match. So we probably, oh, it's probably confirmed that WrestleMania XIX where The Rock defeated Stone Cold is going to be part of the game. Why wouldn't it? Obviously, the three Rock vs. Stone Cold matches at WrestleMania need to be part of it. But yeah, so the WrestleMania XIX Arena, where The Rock finally defeated Stone Cold, is looks to be part of the game. Next up, this is a... This, oh, I don't know how to explain this one. Over the Edge, 1998. So... Before anyone starts talking about Over the Edge, let me just say, this is Over the Edge 1998, and the incident happened at Over the Edge 1999. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, at Over the Edge 1999, Owen Hart fell from the rafters to his death. Now, Stone Cold was actually part of the main event of uh, Over the Edge 1999. He, he, he versed The Undertaker. Now, I'm not too sure whether that match will be part of the showcase. That's one of the matches where I have no idea, because just because of the Owen Hart incident. But that's a bit off topic. I just want to talk, talk about an Over the Edge 1998. So this is not 1999 Over the Edge. This is 1998 Over the Edge. And this is where Stone Cold defeated uh, uh, Dude Love in a Falls Count Anywhere match for the WWE Championship with Vince McMahon as special guest referee. And as Undertaker doing something else. I don't remember what he did. He did something in the match. But yeah, Over the Edge 1998 where Stone Cold defeated Dude Love in a Falls Count Anywhere match for the WWE Championship. Then, uh, Unforgiven 1998, and this is where Dude Love defeated Stone Cold for the WWE Championship, but it was by DQ, so obviously Stone Cold would retain the championship. So yeah, over Unforgiven 1998, we already know it is confirmed for the game, we've already seen uh, Dude Love's entrance, and that was at the Unforgiven Arena, so we already know Unforgiven 1998, Dude Love defeating Stone Cold by the disqualification for the WWE Championship is already confirmed. Then, ECW November to Remember 1995, and this is where Mikey Whipwreck defeated Steve Austin for the ECW Heavyweight Championship. Now, this, I know, is going to be another bonus match. This is the ECW November to Remember 1995. So, this was obviously before Steve Austin actually debuted in WWE. So, this is another bonus match. I'm not too sure when you unlock this bonus match. But yeah, ECW November to Remember is a bonus match, and the arena ECW is confirmed. Then, Degeneration X in Your House 1997, and this is what I was talking about before, Stone Cold defeated Rocky Maivia for the Intercontinental Championship. So first off, Degeneration X in Your House uh, arena is confirmed. I, that's a really cool arena, I like to play in it, but it says, uh, I, I like, and at the actual event, DDX in your house, Stone Cold defeated Rocky Maivia for the Intercontinental Championship. Not The Rock, but Rocky Maivia. So this pretty much says the, uh, that Rocky Maivia is confirmed for 2K16. Now, this is where I'm like, is he confirmed? I don't know. I think, uh, I think 2K would have already said by now that Rocky Maivia would be part of the game. But yeah, especially because uh, the way it works is some people ask like, oh, how come some people get different characters as different renders and some people get the same character? For example, Triple H with long hair and Triple H with short hair is the same character, but WCW Sting and WWE Sting are the same, are different characters. So some people ask, how come why some wrestlers get two different complete characters while others get the same character? For example, again, Chris Jericho with short and long hair are the same character. 
but then, you know, Sting it has two different mod renders. And then why I say is if it depends on the entrance. If the person has the same entrance, they will get one character a bit. Say Triple H with short hair and Triple H with long hair have different entrances, then they will be two different characters. But Triple H with long hair and short hair have the exact same entrance. That's why they have the same car character. But Rocky Maivia and The Rock, I'm guessing, are going to have different entrances. So I'm wondering how come Rocky Maivia isn't a separate character. I don't know, but either way, D Generation X in your house is confirmed as an arena, I guess. This one is the one where I say, okay, this can't be real. This is where I say this must be completely fake. And it says Armageddon 2000 is confirmed as an arena. Now, if you don't know how I'm getting 2000, first of all, are you, you're kidding me, right? You haven't watched Armageddon 2000. It's like the greatest match of all time. Uh, Armageddon 2000 it was a six-man Hell in a Cell match with Stone Cold, Rikishi, Triple H, The Rock, Undertaker, and Kurt Angle. Now, this is where I'm saying, obviously, Armageddon 2000 can't happen, because first of all, they don't have uh, a, a six-man Hell in a Cell match, but I'm sure they could edit it in. That's not the big reason. The big reason is obviously Kurt Angle was part of the match. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, it just, I, I'm sure 2K could have just edited out Kurt Angle and, you know, just replaced him with someone or just made a five-man tag match. But no, Kurt Angle can't just be replaced in this match because Kurt Angle actually won the match, so that's why I'm saying, okay, this is where I know it pretty much must be fake, because Armageddon 2000 can't be in the game just because Code Angle is definitely not going to be in the game. So that's where I'm like, okay, this is probably fake. So yeah, Armageddon 2000 says it's part of the game, but I'm saying it can't be. This must pretty much be fake. But finally, the last arena it says here is Survivor Series 2000. And this is one of my favorite matches of all time. This is Stone Cold versus Triple H in the main event of Survivor Series 2000. First of all, this match was incredible. Um, the whole rivalry between Stone Cold and Triple H was amazing. And the like the biggest thing about this match being part of the game, I'm extremely happy, is that in uh, Survivor Series 2000, Triple H was actually using his My Time theme song. So that pretty much confirms that, yeah, Triple H, is, Triple H will have a separate theme song for My Time, not just the game theme song. So yeah, I really hope My Time theme song will be in the game. But yeah, Survivor Series 2000 uh, will be confirmed for the game, I guess. So yeah, those were most the arenas for 2K16. I know this definitely can't be all of them, because I already know Stone Cold vs. Undertaker buried alive I, we already know that match is part of the uh, showcase and it didn't mention it here so there's still going to be a lot more arenas so yeah this was from the brazilian wikipedia so please do not confirm this as confirmed just take it with a grain of salt because i have no idea whether this is real or fake. So yeah thanks for watching I, I i'm so excited for the game there's only like a week left i'm so pumped so yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one see ya